All right, so welcome to this video. In the last one, we were able to connect to the API, get some data, and actually put that into a model or some um, classes in, in our app, All right? So the next step is to actually display this information on the screen. So this is where the magic happens, so to say. So before I go ahead, let me show you um, one of the templates which we have on App Design Board. Um, so, so you can actually see, have an idea of how this app is going to look like. So we have a template called Mega on App Design Board here. And uh, it has a lot of designs which you can actually use to make your apps look better. So we're going to use some designs from here. You will be able to create it from scratch. That, that shouldn't be a problem, right? So if you don't have access to Mega, it's not a problem. But then I would recommend you actually get a Mega template because you want your apps to actually look good. Anyway, before... I'll tell you more about it. Let me show you what we have in there and then you can actually um, start working around with it. So um, the Mega Template has a lot of different modules, right? So we're going to use one of the uh, models called the Media Model, which has an album view, for example. This is going to display a list of album covers, right? So we're going to use a, a similar kind of layout for our app, right? So we're going to have like a shot, the picture of the image of the shot here, the title, the name of the designer, in this cell and then we're probably not going to use this last label so you'll be able to browse the shots like this and then we can see more information when we click on them or when we tap on them all right so that's actually the idea of one our design templates right you don't need to think about how you're going to design your app you can actually use one of the views in our in, in the template and then reconstruct that and then be able to get your app looking as good as possible all right. Okay. So now let's um, let me show you some other views that we have. We also have the player view, and we also have some more information about. We have some um, like a, to display photos, a list of photos, and then there are loads more. They have the e-commerce view where you can display products with their prices. There's a categories. There's a shopping cart. Um, there's a navigation views where you can actually um, have some slide out navigations here. So you have multiple types. You can actually slide them out in different, um, in different modes. Um, we have graphs and charts. We have a bar chart view here, with uh, animated selection. I'm sorry, segmented view. That looks very nice. We also have progress charts, and um, yeah. So you get the idea, right? So this will actually help you. This will give you more inspiration on how to make your apps work well and then the good thing about this is it just we have the code behind it right so if we have the template you can actually get the code behind it okay so now let's get back to the to the to our Aisha template so we're going to use so we're going to use the album view so this is the view we're going to use so we're going to copy that across so if i open the mega template and then go to the storyboard For the media template so I want the album grid view controller so that's that one so it's very it's actually very simple so you can actually do this from scratch even if you know how to do this right so let me just show you what, what it does or what it has so we have this storyboard here we have a um, a collection view that's all there is in that view and then for each cell in the collection view has an image and then three labels and that's it basically and then of course the magic happens when you start styling these labels to make them look look nice which i'm going to show you how that works okay so the first step is to copy this i'm just going to copy this whole view controller and then go back to my dribble api app so i'll go to the storyboard and then i'll just paste that let me zoom out okay so that's it so I'm going to make this my initial view controller by clicking on this checkbox here. So now I can delete this one, the first one, which was created for me. I don't need that anymore. Um, so let's just change. Okay, so now if I zoom in 100%, you can see that it's called Album Grid Controller. So, but then that's not the correct name. Let's give it a different name. So I'm going to go here and create a new view controller. Put that in a new folder and I'm going to call this shots grid controller. 
Okay, so that's my short grid controller. And then we're gonna connect to this album grid controller as we go ahead. So let me change the name of that as well. So I'll go in here and call that. Okay, well, it can't find it yet because I, I need to build it. All right, so let's go product build. All right, so we have that. Let's see if we can go back to it and then rename that. Hmm. For some reason, Xcode is not recognizing that file name. So um, we just need to be careful about that. All right, so let's, let's leave it at that for now. So let's do some more coding in the short grid controller. So now we want to actually implement the view controller and see how that will work.